majority of quorum is present, Mr. Speaker. The clerk will lock the machine and announce the result. 79 yeas, 41 nays, Mr. Speaker. And so by your vote, the resolution passes. <clears throat> Uh, I would suggest to you that I would hope that the United States Supreme Court may render moot what we did today. I think a lot of people hope for that. I hope the Florida Senate does not render moot what we did today, but I hope the United States Supreme Court does. Thank you, Representative Lerner. Representative Frankel. Um, if Al Gore gets his recount and he wins this vote, how would that be fair? for us to be sending up electors pledged to George Bush. It's unnecessary because if Al Gore does not get his recount or he does not win his election, the election, then why do we need two slates of Bush electors? Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. But Americans, this is their election, and they're afraid that their votes being systematically devalued in favor of a languishing debate over hanging chads and pregnant chads and dimple chads. It's expired. Representative Frankel, you have about two minutes. And In the same breath that we are told that this session is about preserving the votes of Floridians by the majority resolution today, we will be disenfranchising every single voter who went to the polls on November 7th. To zero. With Justice Leander J. Shaw, Jr. In the case of Harry Jacobs versus Seminole County Canvassing Board, challenging certain absentee ballots, the trial court in this case found that the evidence does not support a finding of fraud, gross negligence, or intentional wrongdoing in connection with any absentee ballots. Today, the Supreme Court affirms this finding. The trial court in this case concluded that there were irregularities, but that they did not reach the level of fraud or intentional misconduct. Accordingly, the trial court found that the sanctity of the ballot was not impaired. Based on the rule of law explained in the Jacobs case that I just mentioned to you, the Supreme Court has affirmed the trial court's order. Trial court's order. The vote again was 6 to 0, with Justice Leander J. Shaw, Jr.